So during that, while I'm reading all that, you can take the caps off your binder. You can unravel your compass. You can move all of your stuff, get a marker out, uncap the marker. You just can't write anything down. And then I'll say, do you identify your target? You look through your binos. If you have a tank, look. If you can't see the tank, just say, I, I don't identify my target. I don't, I don't know what it is. And I'll tell you what it is. Right? And then, once you say you do identify your target, I will bring out my stopwatch. And I'll tell you to confirm zeros. And then I'll say, three, two, one, begin, and I'll start it. After I start the time, then I suggest, before you get into this sheet right here, write down the top part of the mill relation formula. So 25.4 times the size of your target. Your tank is 155, and that company groups is 260. So you write in 25.4 times that, and then put that line under there. And then another thing you can write down is your grid zone identifier, which is right here on your current location. And another thing, your target description. So you can write down three things before you even start getting into everything. Right? So if you want to do that right now, you can. Is the y-axis of the reticle in inches or mils? It's all in mils. Okay, then how? You're not going to use the y-axis. Okay. Oh, that's right. He tells us how big the target is in inches. Every time that you call it up, it will always start 400. Don't put the 5 down. Technically. No, I mean the size of the target in inches. Oh, yep. Yep, that's written down right there. Yep. There and there. Oh, I see. All right, so now you go into your cannon cheat sheet. Seven. Find the seven seven. Find where they intersect, and you're going to start right there. So, how do we know whether we're targeting a tank or troops? You'll be told. Okay. Yeah, yeah, test one test. side, troops. One side is tank. Okay. Yeah. Come test A. There's only going to be one C and H. And when I when I brief you the task condition standards, when it says right here, greater stakes type matter. and size of the target, and there's more target ground. direction of target. I'll give you all of that. But it's already given to you right there. I'll just tell you. Later. All right, so now that you found your grid, the next thing is find your direction. So then you pick up your compass and put it down. Open it up. And you know that it's 66 degrees. And then you write it in to your direction, the DIR line. Your azimuth right away, or the next step you can use the mill relation formula to find your distance to the target. Then that would be what so doing right here, picking up your binos and then putting them down because you know that the width of the target is how many mils? Five mils. Alright, so now after you get that, you pick up your calculator. 
Start punching in your form lines. And as soon as you find your distance, you'll be able to find your OT factor. We're here, right? Yeah. So let's find that distance with what? Divided by a thousand with what? That's a target description. Go to that thing. Oh, good, oh, good. Don't worry about that. Oh, good. All right, so now you can just straight up with your calculator divide that by 1,000, and you'll get the, yeah, you, then you can just move it over. So it's 1.3208, right? Then you're going to round it to... There's hole number one. Yes. One, right? Good. All right, now step four, you have step your five, distance and direction. Find the enemy. So you can find your... So your distance is that. So right, 1320 right there. Tractor, center it on your location. And since you're going from magnetic to grid, you need to add your GM angle. And your GM angle is 9. 6 plus 9 is 75. So find 75 on your protractor. Put a dot on the map. Take a straight edge from your protractor. And then draw a line from your location to that dot or through that dot. Don't go through your location. I'm just using the dot. All right, there you go. Now measure your distance. Oh, yeah, you can do it like that. But you use that. How do I do it? I, I do it like this. Excuse me. Oh, measure it like that. So your distance is 1320. So it only goes up to 1,000, so mark the thousands. And then you can move it that way and go to the three, and then the first tick mark past that is 320. Now find your grid. To that point, so I put a, like a box around it because there's two dots there. All right, now find that one. All right, so now that you have everything filled in, right, so you're doing it from you can call up your, your call spot. Right. So, so you can go first. Check this one. So obviously it's the 1320 meters. Direction. Six. Six. Splash out. Did I say direction? Yeah. Direction. Six. Six. What? Uh, degrees. There you go. Target description. Tank. Over. There you go. Time stops when you say over. So then I'll check everything. Um, I do notice that your grid is wrong. Let you were about 600 meters off. Over. Okay. Yeah, and your target. Left one five drop yep. <coughs> at the very Shot beginning. Over. I said the left Slash side over. will do tank, and the right side will do troops. Uh, 
So that's probably why you're off. Because your your starting location should be somewhere down here. I two hundred over. I two hundred out. Shot over. Shot out. Flash so, over. That's fine. Flash we'll out. go through the bracket part though. All right. So I'll start. Uh, tank on lane one. Drop one hundred. All right, so I'll say shot over. Shot out. Flash over. Flash out. Shot, shot over. Shot out. Last flash over. One, zero, and flash four, out. zero, zero, over. Roger, left one, zero, add 400. Shot, shot out. Shot, shot out. Flash over. Flash over. Flash over. Flash out. Flash over. Flash flash over. Flash flash out. out. Drop. 200 over. Roger, drop 200. Shot over. Shot out. Flash over. Splash out. Add 100 over. Roger, add 100. Shot over. Shot out. Flash over. Splash out. Drop 5 0. Fire for effect. Over. Roger, drop 5 0. Fire for effect. Shot over. Shot out. Splash over. Splash out. One enemy tank destroyed. Uh, end of mission over. So you flip flop. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be end of mission. Target shot up. Is that a no go? Yeah. Or, uh,